Who was it? Didn't say. Where are you going? found guilty of the murder of Preston Snow. The sentence of the court is life in prison. Oh! Oh! Lady oh! Jeremy, look what he's done! And the way things stand at the moment, Terry couldn't appeal a parking ticket. He has what you might call a, a cash flow problem. Terry has a solution. We're talking drugs. I'm not doing the counterfeit thing, Tell. I'll do this for you and that's it. Hiding behind a woman's skirts. Yes. Yeah. Getting your wife to do all the dirty work. Yeah. You won't be happy till I'm behind bars with your old man. I need to talk to Morrison. He said he saw Terry leaving Snow's house the night he was shot. I want to know why he lied. Haven't you heard? There is no cause anymore. On the night in question, he says he was doing business with some of your people. Laundry business. <laughs> Jesus, Mum. Why didn't you phone? <gasps> if he didn't love me so much, he wouldn't do if it. If you ever lay a finger on my daughter again, I will kill you. Look, I'm telling you, Sean Kelly didn't do it. Kelly says he killed Snow and he's given up the gun. You're off the case, Frank. Like, fuck I am! Green's gonna be out before you can say miscarriage of justice. Hello? Who was it? Didn't say. Where are you going? Still snore then. You bastard. <laughs> Mum, do you want? What's he doing here? Trisha. You slut. Welcome home. No, no, no. I'll go. For those of you just arrived from some far distant galaxy, this is Terry Green, drugs baron and convicted killer. Terry, I've got to do some care in the community today, boys. The victim, small-time drugs dealer Preston Snow. Green got life, and yesterday he walks free. Why? Because of this little shit. Sean Kelly, blagger, doing seven in the scrubs. Put his hand up to the snow killing. I want to know why he confessed. 
Didn't he give up the murder weapon? The gun was found in a canal. Anyone could have put it there. Reg Pinky Salmon, caught with four tons of cannabis resin from Spain, along with a dozen others, all in the pay of Terry Green, which means Green will be running a bit short of cash. He'll be getting something together. We put him under the microscope until we find out what it is. Samantha Green. Terry Green's nearest and dearest. Panther Penny, she was running things for him while he was on the inside. Probably taking a back seat now. Lights. So, talk to your contact. Frank, can I have a word? Rattle a few cages. Go to it. Come in, Frank. Shut the door. Frank, you're suspended. Suspended? I'm sorry, Frank. Sorry? You're sorry? With Kelly confessing to the snow killing, the forensic evidence is called into question. There was a bloody footprint in Snow's hall, and Snow's blood was on Green's shoes. Exactly my point. Are you saying I planted the evidence? There's to be an investigation, that's all. Until then, it would be prudent for you to catch up on a little gardening. My flat's on the third floor. Frank, your warrant card. Lovely, thanks. Sorry I couldn't send you any flowers. Oh, that's all right. Your friend brought some round. Your friend Terry. He's here now, having a cup of tea. You didn't mention him before. Do you want to talk to him? Yeah, okay, Gran. <coughs> thanks, Gran. Hello, mate. How's the old place doing? I'll touch one hair on her head. Oh, she's fine. Love the card. I didn't know you could do joined up writing. Get the fuck out of her house. I tell you what, she ought to have a smoke alarm. Death traps these old houses. I was telling them about the smoke alarm. Bastard. You know what I want. A name. Who pays you to do the business in the shower? Don't hurt her. The name. See? That wasn't hard, was it? Said he had a run. That's enough of that. That's enough. There again, is he? Right, let's give him the fucking run around. My boss would like a word with you, if you got the time. Your boss being? Mr. 
strange. But thanks for coming at such short notice. I wasn't sure if I had a choice. Of course you had a choice. Now, uh, I'd be grateful if you'd tell me what you told Brian Murphy. Why, is there a problem? I mean, after all, my husband's been released now. Please, just answer the question. My husband was accused of killing a drug dealer, a man called Preston Snow. On the night Snow was shot, he said he was with some of your people, arranging to launder some money for him. He wasn't London London for us, Mrs. Green. We don't do business with people we don't know. We don't know your husband. being summoned like I'm some sort of lapdog. Oh, would you rather I came and saw you at Nick? You know what I mean. And why here? Well, it's private. And there's a sandwich in it for you after. Oh, don't waste my time, Terry. Cut! Cut! Look, guys, we're trying to make a movie here. Terry, this is hard enough as it is. Not from where I'm standing. Hey, guys, sorry for the interruption. Raquel's still on my case. He's suspended. That's as may be, but he's being a bloody nuisance and I want him off my back. Not in candy camera again, am I? Getting paranoid in your old age? Raquel, I can deal with. But I need to know if SO11 and the uh, NCU are sniffing around. Mm -hmm. And there's one other thing. <laughs> there always is. I think George K is in Raquel's back pocket. Check it out. Don't ask them, I'll just tell you. Sam said you were retiring, going legit. That's the plan. When? <laughs> Hello. Chapter. Nothing, why? Not any chance of any coffee? Yeah, might be. Raquel's following me around like a lovesick poodle. The prick's supposed to be suspended. But with him on my back, I can't go about my business. And if he is, I'm going to Spain, then the alarm bells really will start to ring. I need your help, Sam. Oh, no. Look, we've really got to get this counterfeit money sorted out this week. So get Mickey Fox to do it, or McKinley. They're foot soldiers, Sam. I need you. Jamie's coming down from Exeter Sunday. I was going to cook lunch. Be nice if you were there to carve. This has got to be the last time, Terry. I mean it. I hate Spain. some shampoo. No, thanks. I'm fine. This is Jesus. Hello. I'm Pablo. All right. A bit of privacy would be nice, Mickey. I'm here to talk business. Oh, I talk away, girl. They don't speak a word of English. Do you, Jesus? Yeah. <laughs> See? Yeah, but uh, So, how's Terry, then? Out and about. You knew there would be out of keeping this out for long. <laughs> I gather you're getting more involved in the business. Word gets around. Nothing much else to talk about, only really, truth be told. Tell Terry I could put something his way if he's interested. Nice of you, Mickey, but no thanks. I think Terry's set on retiring. Terry Green, settling for pipe and slippers. Yeah, maybe. You never know your luck. The 
cars are ready, yeah? We'll be by tonight. I want to look see, OK? Yeah, sure. Have you brought the cash? Yeah, don't fret. <clears throat> what happened, Mickey? Terry wants to know why you haven't been in touch. The rotten in estate of Denmark. That cannabis bus, we were grass. I couldn't take the risk of staying, not till I find out the rotten apple is. You tell Terry to watch his back, yeah? I remember what I said about putting something in his way. It's a Russian guy here. He has good gear from Afghanistan. Top stuff. Heroin? Give me a break. I'm here to put the finishing touches to Terry's counterfeit thing. That's all. That's where the real money is, Sam. Tell Terry if he wants to... Sw that fits. Fill it up. Yeah, no, no, Mickey, what I don't understand is... Why do I have to bring over cash to pay the drivers if these are supposed to be perfect? Sam, they're not going to do this for funny money. They want real records. Oh, I obviously don't have a criminal mind then, do I? Where'd you get them? The Russian geezer. He's ex-KGB. Used to make counterfeits for the Russian government. So why are we taking them into the UK? Why not spend them here? No one checks notes in the UK anymore. Here, they still give them a once over. And besides, we don't want to shit on our own doorstep, do we? What the hell are you doing here? Babysitting. Where's Mum? Running errands. Have you been drinking? I'm going to bed. What you want? Nothing! It's nothing. Go away. Don't ever touch me again. Now go away. I'll see you tomorrow. You can't do that. Oh, yes, I can. I'm your father. Only genetically. Dad! It's not fair! You've got no right to be here. My name's on the mortgage. I pay the bills. You walked out. You left us. Does Mum know you're here? She knows. So what was it, Trish? Ecstasy? Dope? What did that little shit give you? Nobody calls it ecstasy anymore. It's E. And I had one tablet. It's nothing. You've got school tomorrow. So if it was Friday, it would be OK? That's not what I meant. How do you think your mum would feel if she knew? How do you think she felt when the papers called you London's biggest drug dealer? How do you think she felt about that? And what about when you got sent down? How do you think she felt then? If anybody's let this family down, it's not me. I do what I do to keep this family together. You left us, Dad. You didn't keep us together. You broke us apart. What fucking planet are you living on? Aye. I don't want you seeing that little shit again. He's a bad influence. He's a bad influence? Is that all right? Yeah, thanks. Booze from me, like we agree. But the Kosovans! Fuck the Kosovans! The thing is, Terry... Don't Terry me. I'm sick of being Terry now. Just do as you're told. But the thing is... No buts. I don't want to hear you say... But. I don't want to hear you say Terry. But Terry... I... Just go where we land. Fruity red, full bodies. Yeah, perfect. Family. Yes. Family. 
one too. I said I didn't want you going round to his house. It's my mum's house. So I misunderstood. Your father wasn't there then. I knew it. They're my family. I'm your family. No, no, you're not, Jonathan. You don't know anything about families. Your mum and dad sent you to board. <laughs> Good Lord, I'm sorry. You, you mustn't tell anyone I hit you, okay? You have to say you fell. Do you understand? You can't tell anyone I hit you. She's okay. It looks worse than it is. So what happened? She tripped, she says. Tripped and fell over the coffee table, the one in the lounge. He hits her toe. What do you mean, he hits her? He loses his temper. Does he? I'll kill him. So how long has this been going on? Won't you tell me? You were in prison, remember? What's the doctor say? She's lost a lot of blood. Not enough to need a transfusion. And he doesn't think they'll be scarring. Scarred for fuck's sake. Shh, what's your language? It's a fucking hospital, not a church. Terry, please. Excuse me. Is she okay? Yeah, she's going to be all right. What happened? She fell. It was an accident. Jamie gone? Yeah, he's got exams tomorrow. He said goodbye. Okay. No, I'll be up in a minute. Able to see places to go. <sighs> Business. Just get on with it. Are we sorted then? Ellis and Beatty are getting the petrol and we're going to pick them up on the way. Go. We're just going to move them.
Terry. No! Where is he? He's not here. I can see that. Where's he gone? I don't know. Well, I'll be fucking waiting. You're the brother, aren't you? Preston Snow's brother. Luke, yeah? Look, shut the fuck up! Please, my daughter's asleep next door. I don't want her woken up. She's got school tomorrow. What? They go bang if they go off. What do you think you're doing, Luke? I'm gonna kill him! He killed my brother, so I'm gonna kill him! Yeah, but now someone else has said they did it. That means Terry's in the clear. Yeah? Well, we'll see about that. Do you want a coffee? What? Well, you're obviously here to shoot Terry. And he's not here. Now, it doesn't look like you're gonna hurt me. So we might as well be civilised about this. What'd you say, Luke? Do you want to sit down? Where'd you get the gun? Gun in a pub. 300 quid. I didn't mean to ski, you know. Well, that's nice of you, Luke. Nice. But it's bullshit. What if my husband had been in bed? What if you'd shot him? He wouldn't even have done it. I didn't know what else to do. What makes you think my husband killed your brother? What well, the police said. That detective, Welsh. Welsh. He's been after my husband for years. The Met's full of bent coppers. Anyway, your brother was a drugs dealer, right? He must have made a lot of enemies. I tried to tell Preston he was heading for trouble. But he wouldn't listen, right? There's only so much you can do. Alicia was always trying to keep him on a straight and narrow. But he wouldn't listen to her either. Alicia? Preston's wife. She wasn't mentioned in court, was she? No, she left him. I think she moved to Bristol or something. Oh, shit. Look, I've got to go. Um, why don't you leave that with me, eh, Luke? No. The guy bought it off said he'd give me half the money back if I didn't fire it. Luke, I'm really sorry about what happened to your brother. Say to you. Sit down and shut up. Off you go, both of you. Oi! You're not gonna leave me on my own with him, are ya? All right, Sean. You're not my type. How do you feel? What do you mean? You know what I mean. I've been to see your doctor. I oh, fuck you have. You're always getting parking tickets, doctors. Pancreatic cancer's a bitch, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, I went to see your wife as well. She's got a lovely new car. Got a new stereo, too. Now, I know it doesn't mean a lot to you putting your hands up for the Preston Snow murder. Not when you've only got a year or two to live. But I bet Terry Green was really grateful, wasn't he? Who paid over the money, Sean? Hmm? Was it McKinley? Or was it Kay? Or was it his wife did the payout? Was it Sam Green?
I miss our little chats, Grace. I really do. Well, your darling boy's out. And he's got me doing his dirty work. He's back in the house. He's even back in my bed. But I've got this nagging feeling something's not quite right. He says he was with some Irish heavyweights the night Preston Snow was shot. But he wasn't, Grace. He lied. So where was he? Laura's still in hospital. She's on the mend. I don't know why she stays with him. Yeah, you're right. I do know. You either love them or you don't. What am I going to do, Grace? What am I going to do? The more information I get, the more I find out he's been lying to me. Sorry, love. Yeah, what? Oh, no. I won't be a minute, Grace. Excuse me, I'm... You are in so much trouble. I'm Mrs. Green. I can't apologise enough for this. I know she's only 15, but I'm obliged to call the police. I appreciate that. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. You don't ever come in this door again. Do you understand me? Ever. Lifetime ban. Can I at least pay for these? Oh, that's all right. Sometimes it's just a call for help, yeah? the life out of me. What's this? It got here. Oh, <laughs> it got here. Money, money, money. You've done it there, you say. Tell. Mm. <laughs> oh, shit. Yes? I'm on my way. Terry. See you later, darling. Things to do. Terry, we need to talk. Promise, later. Take care of the money. <sighs> Working off a bit of excess energy, are we? <coughs> now you haven't got my daughter to be. Oh, an accident. 
Well, why don't you say? I don't understand that. I mean, accidents do happen. Sake! <laughs> Feely, gropey heads between other men's legs. Now, soccer, that's a real man's game. But you're not a man, are you? You <laughs> Oh! 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 Excuse me, visiting time's arriving, I'm afraid. I'll only be a couple of sometimes, especially to your mum. But I've always done what I've had to do to support this family. Yeah, I know I've broken a few laws along the way. But I never hurt anyone who didn't deserve to be hurt. Hi, Blackie. Thanks for calling me back. Sam, this is not. Alicia Snow. Preston's wife. Where can I find her? Sam, I can't just go nosing around asking for stuff like that. I need to know. The girl done well. You've been here before, Andy. Well, me she asked that. Just a thought. find me? You're Preston Snow's wife, right? Ex-wife. Widow. Can look, I, uh, No, look, go ahead. Leave me alone. Yeah. 